Every day, people board the Big Red Bus or visit a One Blood donor center and give blood. But have you ever wondered about what happens to your blood after you donate? Your blood goes on quite a journey before it arrives at a hospital. The One Blood team is working behind the scenes and around the clock to provide life-saving blood to patients in need. And we're about to give you an up-close look so you can see firsthand the journey of blood. As soon as you're done donating, the clock starts ticking and the journey of your blood begins. For the um, quality products that we manufacture, Time is a very important aspect. From the time that unit is collected and brought into the manufacturing area, there needs to be an immediate action response to the receiving of that blood product. Our first priority is to ensure the blood is safe. Remember the three test tubes the phlebotomist collected at the start of your donation? They're headed to our state-of-the-art testing facility in St. Petersburg, Florida. All of the blood samples will come to our St. Petersburg facility where they will be expeditiously but very thoroughly uh, tested to make sure that the uh, blood supply is safe. All of that testing will be completed in 12 to 14 hours to make sure that the journey of blood continues. The testing facility never closes. Blood is literally being tested there 24 hours a day. Every blood sample will undergo more than a dozen different tests to ensure it's safe. The blood supply is as safe as it's ever been. During testing is also when we check your cholesterol, and it's when the blood type of each unit of blood is determined. In other words, this is when it will be labeled either A, B, O, or AB, and determine whether it's positive or negative. Determining the blood type is crucial because blood must be compatible with the patient in need. Once the results are in, they are relayed back to the biologics lab that is holding your blood donation. And that is where we pick up on the second part of the journey. At the same time your blood is being tested in St. Petersburg, your actual blood donation has been taken to one of our biologics manufacturing labs and is taking an entirely different journey. We have multiple labs throughout our service area. Your blood will likely go to the lab that is closest to where you donated. Regardless of whether you donated whole blood, platelets, red blood cells, or plasma, all blood is processed in one of our labs. Each unit is prepared according to how it was donated. For example, whole blood donations enable us to collect all the components that make up your blood. So inside the bag, there are red blood cells, white blood cells, platelets, and plasma. We need to separate each of these components into individual components. To do that, each unit of whole blood is placed into a centrifuge. The spinning motion forces the blood to separate into the four components. The blood bag is then placed in a squeezing device known as a compressor. There are more steps involved in the lab for whole blood donations because we collect a full bag of all four components that need to be separated. But if you donate blood on one of our apheresis machines, the components of your blood are already being separated during the time of your donation. The separation process is actually taking place inside the machine. So by the time your donation reaches the lab, it doesn't have to be placed into the centrifuge or the expressor. Red blood cells are then placed in a special refrigerator. Plasma is frozen and platelets must be kept at room temperature. The platelets are living organisms and they need to have exchange, oxygen exchange. And when they move, the air goes in and out of the platelet bag. So they're still breathing. Once the blood is processed, the lab awaits results from the testing facility. All units that clear testing continue their journey and are labeled with their appropriate blood type and are headed to the distribution room. Once, once blood is transferred from our manufacturing sites here, they are received um, in, our, in our system. And then from there now, as the orders are received from the hospitals, they are processed and shipped um, to um, each of the hospitals. As you can see, the color of the screens are color-coded. So we can see that the bluish is plasma, and the red dots re um, are telling us that that is an order for red cells, and the yellows are an order for the platelets. Have you ever tracked a package online? Well, it's very similar to how hospitals can track the blood. Each blood bag is coded and hospitals can track the exact location of their blood order and when it will arrive. We receive orders at different times. We have set up routine routes for our couriers can go and deliver blood products. We send an average of 1,000 deliveries a day to the hospitals. 
Day and night, One Blood couriers travel all over the state, ensuring the blood is available when and where it is needed. This place doesn't close. It's open 365 days a year, 66 on leap years, uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, because the need for blood never stops. Blood that is donated today will likely be transfused into a patient within two to three days after donation. The turnaround is that fast and the need is constant. Ensuring safe and available blood for the community is a never-ending process. With each donor that rolls up their sleeve to give the gift of life, the journey of blood begins again. There's no substitute for blood. It cannot be manufactured and it must come from donors willing to share their power and save lives.